Southern Oregon last night. There were six of them. They were between magnitude 3.2 and 4.6. They're in the remote Lakeview area. That's near the border with Nevada and California. No damage or injuries were reported. That's good news, but we wanted to know now if those quakes could signal an even bigger quake closer to home. We sent our core Harlan to get the facts. This is the earthquake house at Omsi. The shaking of this house is meant to simulate the 5.6 magnitude quake that struck the Scotts Mills area in Western Oregon back in 1993. The largest in a year-long swarm of quakes in northern Nevada near the Oregon border struck Wednesday evening at about 6.52. At 4.6 magnitude, it's the largest of nearly 4,600 quakes that have shaken this same unpopulated area of northern Nevada in the last year. And it's not the first time swarms of quakes have happened in what geologists are now calling the Bald Mountain Earthquake Swarm Area. Sometimes they build up to a six and a half, and sometimes they go on for a year and then just go back to sleep. And we really don't have a, a solid understanding of why they're happening. I wanted to know from Ian Maiden, who is now the interim Oregon State geologist, should these Nevada quakes give Oregon and Washington earthquake watchers anything to be concerned about? But does this mean anything in a, in a bigger scheme of things in the region? No, this is really a pretty isolated system. Maiden tells me the bald mountain quakes southeast of Lakeview are different in geological terms than a recent swarm of quakes off the southern Oregon coast, but the two swarms are alike in that they are not related to the big quake. Recently, U.S. Geological Survey seismologist Seth Moran told me the big Cascadia subduction zone quake would come from a fault line running very close to the coastline. It's caused mega quakes and tsunamis in the past, and it remains in an eerie sort of silence because geologists think it's stuck. The area where it's stuck is roughly like this, mm -hmm. between my two fingers. Mm -hmm. And if that entire patch were to go all at once, that's a magnitude 9. It's a long fault. It's a wide fault. Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.